Hello, welcome back to Rich Tech. I'm going to show how to replace this lost key from this uh, Magic One keyboard. This uh, keyboard uses two AA batteries and it connects through Bluetooth. Unfortunately for us, this one has lost this left pointing key and hence the board is now bare and it looks ugly and it cannot be used on the left the left pointing key that is fortunately for us we have a spare keyboard here which is spoiled but it has uh, this left pointing key so we are going to remove that from this keyboard and use it to replace what the hours which is lost and uh, so i'm going to show you how to remove this each of these keys is uh, removed in a special way in this uh, case this left pointing key is removed by of course i'm using a pin you pry it from there is a butterfly junction or hinge under it which holds it on the board so you pry it from the left side in a later video i'm going to show you how to remove each and every key from this board so once you pry it from the left side it uh, pops up and then you can slide it out here is the butterfly hinge which I was telling you about. This one holds the key onto the board but it also helps it to rise up and go down as you type. So it's uh, formed of two plastics held together at the middle and I'll show you how this one attached to the key and to the board. So that's how you remove the key from the board together with the hinge and uh, placing this side by side you can see the parts which correspond here these two holes correspond to this protrusion so it shows you that these ones will click into place at that point and these two plastic uh, protrusions uh, on that uh, they correspond to these slots where they slide in let me show you how these ones slide in you place the protrusions at the end of the key then you slide them into the slot where they're supposed to be affixed now on the keyboard itself we have attachment points the forward one is a metallic plate which is a hinge 90 degrees and uh, at the back there are these two protrusions or we can call them uh, loops metal loops where the butterfly hinge will be affixed to now here is our butterfly hinge we'll uh, fix this side first of all this side will go into this metallic plate so slide it into place then lay the hinge flat on the board in this uh, back part there are those two plastic protrusions on the hinge which you want to slot into the metallic loops now we're using a pin because this is really like a microscopic job you can't use your fingers here you can see it's really difficult to control it even with a pin so i'll use uh, something to assist me here so i'll slide this plastic portions into their metallic loops where they lock into place this will hold the butterfly hinge onto the key onto the keyboard and make sure that it doesn't go anywhere while the key is being used Now to test that this butterfly hinge is in place, you can lift it from one side and this is okay, it's going nowhere. Next we want to fix the key and uh, just make sure there is no dirt in the slot which may prevent the key from fitting snugly in place. And here is our key we want to slide in this first portion first this end will slide on to the back of the key 
make sure first of all that this is uh, aligned nicely so those two plastic parts will fit into this point so place the key slowly onto the butterfly junction and slide it back so that it locks into place then hold it with one hand and push on the opposite side gently but firmly until you hear a click and that shows you that the key is in place now it has the same feeling as each and every of these other keys and that's how you replace a, a key which has been lost from a magic one keyboard with a little bit of cleaning this is how our keyboard now looks and it's ready for a new lease of life thanks for watching once again subscribe if you like such content like and share